Hello everyone and welcome to the Plus One YouTube channel. My name is Niket Shah. I was applying earthing to my home and what is the most important step while installing earthing? Obviously it is to ensure that the earthing itself is applied properly. And to keep checking this earthing regularly, we need a very important addition called the earth inspection pit. Now what is this earth inspection pit? For those watching that do not know, once we have installed the earthing properly, it needs regular maintenance or checking and to facilitate this, our best option is to install an earth inspection housing pit, also known as the earth inspection pit. So I went in search for this earth inspection pit to my local retailers and some of the shops showed me this. This is completely made of cement block, which is heavy to lift, while the other stores showed me this. The lid that is visible is made of steel which can be dangerous during the monsoon season and could also harm any children playing nearby. So what is the best option? A plastic earth inspection pit. Now since this is not locally available, let's visit the best marketplace for you and me, Amazon. Let's search for all the earth inspection pits on Amazon and further purchase the best option available. After that, we shall further discuss what is an earth inspection pit, how to install it, and what are its various features. So let's finally place the order so that I can physically show you the earth inspection pit. I have opened Google Chrome and navigated to the Amazon webpage. I am going to type earth inspection housing in the search bar. I'll just hit enter. Since Amazon tends to save the best products first, so let's check the first option. Don't forget I'm going to be putting the link to all of these in the description so you can check the product along with its dimensions such as height, width, etc. In addition, its features such as capacity, heavy graded plastic quality and all other characteristics will be listed in detail below. Let's order this product now. If you do not have an Amazon account, you can create one in this section. After this, I'll proceed to the order process. Um, just enter in my UPI and after that is done, I can complete the payment. As we can see, my product is ready for shipment and it is going to approximately take two days to reach my home. So friends, the earth inspection pit has arrived from Amazon and it took approximately two days. As you can observe, I am seamlessly able to lift this with one hand as it is quite light, which means that transporting and installing this is not going to be difficult. Um, had we gone for the cement option, the installation itself would take around two days along with additional labor, while we can simply install this product ourselves. On the surface, this looks quite compact and nice. Now let us take a close look at this and see how much space would be left after the earthing has been installed and also in what way we can go about inspecting the earthing. Friends, as you can see, this is the earth inspection pit that we have ordered from Amazon. We first are greeted with this key, which is further used to open the chamber above. To access this pit, this chamber uses a unique locking system which I am also seeing for the first time. Simply turn the key in this direction which is shown in the chambers and the lock on either side will successfully open. I just need to unscrew the lock towards the left and our chamber has now been opened. So now the first thing I notice is that the cover itself is really solid and strong. Since this chamber goes into the ground and needs to withstand heavy vehicles, I believe that is the reason that this lid is so strong and robust. As you can see, I don't think vehicles should be a problem since this is heavy graded. If we are talking about the inside part of the chamber, there is sufficient space here. The earth rod goes to this circular center that you can see and can easily be leveraged for inspection purposes. After this, if we look at the bottom, we can see the hole through which the earth rod passes and also two strips on either side. These strips can be used for any additional wiring if required. 
If we look at the corners, there are some holes inserted which are further used to recharge chemicals. There are times where after one to two years we need to reinsert the chemicals for which we can easily use these holes. So there are three important aspects in the back, the earth rod from the center, some wiring and connections from here. Now if I try to show you the side view, you can see that this entire portion will go in the ground. Once this portion is in the ground and fitted in, the claws you can see to the side will grip into the ground and is extremely helpful. If we talk about the material, it is very heavy and I don't think it will be a problem for you despite the weather like a monsoon or even a hot summer because it is heavy graded plastic. Another point is that if we observe the upper part, there is some fencing here. This is the portion that will stay visible and this is the portion that will stay below. So as mentioned, it seems like quite a good product. If you want to do earthing the proper way, it is crucial for you to get an earth inspection housing pit in order for you to regularly check the earthing. So this product, which I've ordered from Amazon, seems quite good. And let us try to finally install it. I am finally going to complete our project with this product. I have already installed the earthing and earth rod earlier of approximately 8 feet and after that we installed a plastic chamber which we call the earth inspection housing pit. After that we can see that I have installed a bus which we can look into later on. The earth inspection pit we have chosen which is made of plastic as discussed in this video and below that you might have seen as we observed a rectangular and circular shape. We have correspondingly taken the bus and the rod through this rectangular and circular cutout. I connected them together which we can now inspect by simply opening the chamber from above. You can see if it is open it will look like this, however if it is internally installed it will look like this. Regarding the bus, its functionality will assist you with connecting one or even three earthings together. As illustrated in this image, here is the first, second and third individual chamber which we have further gone ahead and connected all three together. This is useful whenever there needs to be a strong earthing connection. As you can see, this is how the final earthing is going to look. Over here we can see the main earth inspection pit along with the rod and the bus which is further connected to this wire which is also the direct building earthing line. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video and do not forget if you want to purchase this product, the link will be available in the description below. Also, if you want to apply for any online courses involving electronics, repair of home appliances, laptops and mobile repairs, not to forget robotics, programming, AutoCAD and several other courses, you can easily access these by downloading our app which is called Plus Point Training. This will be available on the Google Play Store. If you want it for iOS, there is a different app. If you are interested in downloading the apps or even for any further queries, simply drop me a WhatsApp message on this number. So friends, that is all for this video. If you are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button and also do not forget the bell icon to get notified as soon as I release a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also mention the next topic of interest and I shall try my best to make a video relating to that. That is all for now. Thanks for listening.